from North Carolina, uh, Shakar from Michigan, Ed Atlanta, uh, Kamal from Malaysia. We've got quite the international crowd here. And let's wait a second for a few more to come in. Bill from New York City and uh, Sopros from Missouri. Okay, with that, I will get the show on the road here. This is John Thomas, the Matt Hitch Fund Trader. I'm going to talk about the big plays for 2024. Uh, we just came off a spectacular 2023, our best year in 15 years, and uh, we're looking to do better uh, in 2024. So let me uh, get the uh, old PowerPoint machine working here, and I'm broadcasting to you today from Silicon Valley, California, the technology capital of the world, where you can pick up more stock tips waiting in line at Starbucks than you can reading research for a year in New York City. So uh, take out your pen and paper, take notes, or start typing into your smartphone. What I'm about to tell you will blow you away and change your life, for I am in the early retirement business, your early retirement. Uh, why listen to me? Well, I have 50 years of experience in the global financial markets, 10 years as the economist correspondent in Tokyo and later the White House, 10 years running the International Equity Division at Morgan Stanley, little time out as a Marine Corps combat pilot in Desert Storm, 10 years running the first international dedicated hedge fund, five years fracking for natural gas in Texas, and now 14, actually 15 years publishing the Diary of a Mad Hedge Fund Trader. I am one of the founders of the modern hedge fund industry. So let's go flying. Yes, for you aviation enthusiasts out there, that was a 1940 Supermarine Spitfire, the plane that won the Battle of Britain, and I was renewing my British aerobatics license over the English Channel. Uh, the other re reason to listen to me uh, is our performance, which has been spectacular this year. 81% uh, trailing one-year return versus 18.91% for the S&P 500. And you can see uh, we went straight up in the first half of the year, ducked out for the summer and fall when the market was in free fall, jumped back in on October 26. And since then, we have made about 25% since the end of October. So we really have clocked a 25% month. Uh, and if you think I was just lucky, we'll show you the long-term returns later. So who is John Thomas? Uh, my family origins are very humble, growing up as the oldest of seven children uh, on a remote farm in Southern California. I live the all-American childhood, growing up as the oldest of seven children, uh, playing little league baseball and becoming an Eagle Scout. There wasn't much to do in the old days uh, in California except hunting, so I picked up a job for the Los Angeles Herald Examiner. 
I found the stock pages, bought IBM at 20, sold it in 30, and suddenly found a far better way to make money than delivering newspapers off the back of a bicycle. By the time I was 16, I earned enough money to fly to Europe. By the age of 17, I visited more than 50 countries and spoke four languages. At UCLA, I majored in math and DNA research, which landed me a job at the nuclear test site in Nevada. Their yield didn't mean interest earned, but millions of Russians killed. I didn't see much of a future in that, so the government sent me to Southeast Asia for a few years of intelligence missions, where I learned how to fly and jump out of perfectly good airplanes. There I advised the militaries of America's Asian allies, this one in the Republic of China. Of course, doing research in those days meant carrying a World War II Sten gun, which used to jam on every six shot. As the war wound down, I became a foreign correspondent for The Economist magazine in London. When they learned I had a math degree, they switched me over to covering the Asian economy and the stock market. Ta-da! And all I got from my 10 years of government service is this box of medals, which I uh, trot out once a year on Veterans Day. Uh, as a foreign correspondent, I covered China during the Cultural Revolution and was the first American reporter to visit North Korea since the Korean War and covered the rest of the continent all the way to India. Uh, and if you're wondering why I'm so skinny in this picture in Beijing, it's because they just suffered a famine where 50 million people died. I don't think they ever admitted to it. I figured out very quickly you didn't have to be that smart to make money in the stock market. So I got into the industry, joining Morgan Stanley. After 10 years there, I started my own hedge fund. And that's me losing the All Japan Karate National Championships. And yes, the years have been cruel. That's my Morgan Stanley ID card from 1983. I rapidly became the top performing hedge fund of the 1990s, eventually bringing in a 1,000% return in a decade. Then the money really started to pour in. It's an understatement to say that when your income goes from the thousands to the tens of millions, it really has a big impact on your lifestyle. You get to drive the latest hot car, fly your own private plane around Europe, go marlin fishing in Mexico, and collect vintage Rolls Royces. I sold my hedge fund in 2000, retired to go into the oil and gas industry. After making a killing there, I missed the stock market and started the Diary of a Mad Hedge Fund Trader in 2008, just as markets were going into free fall. I now spend my days pursuing my first love, finding winning trade alerts, but now I do it from my three mansions in San Francisco, Incline Village, Nevada, and Zermatt, Switzerland, where I have a chalet right at the base of the Matterhorn. Uh, I've quit turning millionaires into billionaires. There's far more satisfaction leveling the playing field for the average guy and teaching him how to trade. And that includes you. If I can take a $50,000 account and turn it into $500,000, that is more job satisfaction than I can get anywhere else. However, every silver lining has a cloud. Here's my 2021 tax return where I had to pay $8.2 million in taxes on 22 million in trading income, yikes. Uh, in the little free time I have left, I pursue my other love, flying vintage aircraft on weekends. You see an old plane flying loops over San Francisco these days, it's probably me. Ultimate luxury, of course, is a gift to those who need it. Uh, as a Marine Corps volunteer, I uh, volunteer for grief counseling for widows and orphans. And I'm a major donor to wounded warriors. When the wildfires hit California, I visited the main evacuation centers and handed out $10,000 worth of Target gift cards. And there you can see I'm visiting my in-law's house, which burned to the ground. They were using a sift box to find a wedding ring, which they eventually found because it was made out of platinum. Platinum has a much higher melting point than gold. That's one of the little tidbits you learn after trading commodities for 50 years. So there is a method to my madness, believe it or not. The Fed is done raising interest rates. Markets are now discounting the first rate cuts as early as March, which has a 40% probability, 60% probability the cuts don't come until June. All interest rate plays are going wild except bonds, REITs, precious metals, and financials. The year-end rally is on, but what happens in January? Do we get a break or do we just keep going 
straight up. It really depends on the Fed. Government shutdown delayed until February, and they may just keep rolling it forward forever. Oil prices and commodities are now trading as one, selling off slowly in a slowing economy. Tech bull market is back and will continue for years. Time to go aggressively along stocks and bonds. Commodities and industrials will play catch up in the sec second half of the year. Global economy is fading. The CPI or consumer uh, price index came in flat at 3.2%, much weaker than expected. This is a game changer and triggered a monster rally in the market. And you'll see what I'm talking about when you see the charts that follow. PPI fell by a half percent in October, also a three-year low. Inflation is fading fast. Government shutdown is delayed. Consumer inflation expectations are rising. Weekly jobless claims dropped 24,000 to 209,000, one of the sharpest declines this year. China's retail sales jumped, so the economy there may be finally crawling out of a hole. Stocks are right now a big technology game, which is slowly spreading into the middle-sized tech area. November sees the fastest 10% market rise in history. Big tech led with financials catching up and energy suddenly cheap. Company buybacks are about to surge as companies pick up their own stocks before the year-end deadline. Apple is the top buyback stock, followed by Alphabet and Microsoft. Money is pouring into defense ETFs like uh, PPA and ITA. You want to be looking at Raytheon and Lockheed Martin. Fisker dived 18% uh, after disastrous earnings report. Tesla wannabes have no future. Tesla is just too far ahead. Famed short seller Jim Chanos shut down his hedge fund after a massive short in Tesla shares blew up in his face. Uh, so let's look at what the market discounted this year and what it will discount next year. This is the 2023 market. High inflation, oil shock, COVID spike, labor shortage, supply chain headaches, thin interest rate cuts, quantitative tightening, and poor earnings outlooks. What happens next year? Plunging gasoline prices, rocketing commodity prices later in the year, stabilizing supply chain, record low unemployment at 3.9%, better than expected earnings, 1.25 trillion in stock buybacks, 75% of those will be in technology, falling interest rates and a weak dollar. So basically all the bad news is in the market. Next year, we basically only get good news. Uh, guess what that does for stock prices? So we run a barbell portfolio. Currently, we're at 75% big tech. That accounts for 2% of the U.S. workforce, 25% of the market cap, and 25% of all U.S. earnings. And we have 25% domestic recovery stocks, which includes railroads, airlines, cruise lines, couriers, steel companies, banks, commodities, construction, credit card companies, hotel, casinos, and online ticket sales. Uh, this is the NASDAQ, the main technology index, uh, and uh, you can see our uh, market timing algorithms had us bail out of everything the end of July. We went, then went piling back in from mid to late October, got this tremendous move. From here, we see either a sideways or a small down move, and then a new leg up going into 2024. By the end of next year, we're looking for NASDAQ to gain 40% all the way up to a level of 20,000. And let's see if we have any uh, uh, da, 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 uh, questions here. Go ahead and get your questions in. When I get to the asset class, I will address them. Uh, Microsoft, uh, again, huge gain from uh, the end of uh, September. Uh, it went from 310 all the way up to 381. We're looking for 500 by the end of 2024. As the economy recovers, uh, more people buy PCs and 70% of the world's PCs uh, uh, use the Microsoft operating system. 
Uh, Apple, another big winner, uh, just had a massive move, 165 to 192. Uh, we were out for the recent meltdown, got back in again the end of October. And notice all of these stock charts are almost identical. Big tech had these gigantic moves up, some of the biggest ever seen within a four-week period. And we think that continues. Uh, we're looking for $250 a share in Apple in 2024. Uh, Amazon, also a huge gainer uh, in a month. It went from uh, 115 to one, almost 150. We're targeting $200 for next year. And by the way, uh, Amazon has become the world's largest delivery company, uh, outpacing FedEx and UPS. And the antitrust suit against Amazon will go absolutely nowhere. Uh, only 30% of their goods uh, are from in-house. Uh, Alphabet has 92% market share in all search, also gigantic presence in online advertising. Uh, and again, we've had a big move, look for a small sell-off, then we target $200 in 2024. Uh, Salesforce uh, just announced great earnings. We're targeting $300 in 2024, or up about 40%. This is the dominant company in customer relationship management on the cloud, uh, and a recovering economy is fantastic news for them. Uh, second half of the barbell bets on a massive drop in interest rates and a global recovery to begin next year. Uh, upside potential uh, for domestics is far greater than it is for tech because they're coming off such low multi-year basis. Focuses on economically sensitive industries. Um, uh, makes a great counterweight to high growth technology stocks. We could spend the whole year rotating back and forth between the two stocks. So first and foremost among our domestic plays is Boeing. Uh, had a monster sell-off during the pandemic and then the recession that followed. Uh, we went from 450 down to 90. Uh, we've since recovered back to 222. Uh, it has a almost 10 year backlog in orders now, and that's not even included China, which has yet to get off the bench and ordering new planes. Eventually they're going to have to because there is a global aircraft shortage developing. So we're targeting $300 a share for Boeing in 2024. Uh, JP Morgan, falling interest rates uh, is great for banks because it means they have a much lower uh, default rate on loans and much higher low vo loan volumes in a recovering economy. We've already had quite a large gain, 135 up to 155. We're looking for $200 by the end of 2024. Go long financials. Uh, Visa, another financial play. Um, you know, benefits from inflation because higher prices mean higher fees for them. And this thing just goes up every year like clockwork. Uh, we made it up to 255 so far this year. We're looking for $300 in 2024 by Visa on dips. Union Pacific, any economic recovery, you need to move a lot of large stuff back and forth uh, across the country. And if the Chinese economy recovers, Union Pacific is the biggest uh, user of commodities shipped by Union Pacific. Most of that's food and coal and other uh, bulk commodities, uh, and Union Pacific is number one uh, in all of those areas. So again, starting to get you know a nice recovery off the bottom here. We're looking for three hundred dollars by twenty twenty four. FedEx also recovering. Not only do you need to move a lot of large stuff in a uh, economic recovery, you need to move a lot of small stuff out. So FedEx uh, dominates in that. And you're seeing in the 10% uh, recovery we've had so far since October, looking for $300 a share in 2024. Uh, Berkshire Hathaway, it's our one-stop barbell stock 
heavy weighting in financials, also heavy weighting in energy, and in Apple, it's the largest outside owner of Apple. Uh, we're looking for five hundred dollars a share in twenty twenty four. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Uh, J.P. Morgan, we've got Visa, we've got Hong oh, Kong. Oh. Uh, okay, so uh, after that, uh, bonds will be the big trade of 2024. Um, they continue on a tear with the TLT up a break, taking $9 from the October low. Falling inflation is the big driver, down from 9% to 3.2% in a year on its way to 2% next year. TLT could reach 120 in 2024. It's at 90 right now. Keep buying TLT calls, call spreads, and leaps on dips. Junk bonds uh, also are looking really good with an 8.18% yield. Uh, you can expect that yield to drop to 5% by the end of next year. 30-year fixed rate mortgages for home purchases have dropped 70 basis points from 8% down to 7.3. We could be looking at 5% next year. U.S. budget deficit has dropped by half, taking a lot of uh, selling pressure off the bond market. Less government bo borrowing is building a strong floor under bond prices. All the COVID stimulus programs have expired, but most infrastructure spending programs, the money hasn't even started to be spent yet. So here is the outlook for the TLT. Long two and a half year sell off from 160 all the way down to 82. And then a $9 rally all the way up to 91. Uh, we got in here with call spreads and leaps on the TLT. Look for a little sideways correction and then a move up to 120 sometime in 2024. Uh, and this is what the yield does at the same time. We peaked up here at 5.08. We're targeting 250 by 2020, end of 2024 or 2025. That means a long bull market uh, in uh, bonds. Foreign currencies, the dollar has hit a multi-year peak and is now likely to head down for the next decade. Sharply falling U.S. interest rates bring a crashing dollar. All foreign currencies will rally strongly. You want to buy the euro, the Australian dollar, the British pound, and the Japanese yen. Uh, soft Chinese economy will keep the yuan, yuan relatively weak as long as the pandemic lockdown continues. Strong currencies will also deliver a major bull market in emerging market stocks, the EEM, and the emerging market currencies, the CEW. Let me take a quick look, we'll see if we have any more questions here. Uh, okay, I'll save the questions for the end. So here's the Australian dollar which is basically a call option on the uh, global economic recovery. We've already moved from 60 cents up to 65. We eventually see the FXA going to one-to-one -to -one against the US dollar. Okay, let's see. Da, 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 just checking my emails quickly here. Okay. Uh, uh, not only that, there is the Japanese yen, which has been dropped 40% over the last three years. Japan was the last central bank to get off zero interest rates, and they may tighten interest rates for the first time in 34 years. That could lead to a monster 25% in the Japanese yen next year, and that is only just getting started. So again, Great long play setting up here for the Japanese yen. Euro also moving uh, quite sharply. We've gone from 95 to 101. Should do better. We're looking for 25% next year. British pound also on the recovery. Notice that the dollar is shrinking against everything. And by the way, this is the new pound coin showing King Charles III. Well, he used to know when I lived in England back when he was only the Prince of Wales. Emerging market currencies will be the biggest performer on the currency front, looking for a 40% gain there next year by CEW. Energy and commodities are hitting new lows now. Uh, expect them to go to new highs next year. Recession fears have been driving all energy plays down. 
Oil has crashed from 96 down to 70 in two months on fears of a global economic slowdown. Gasoline prices are at a three-year low, uh, which is definitely uh, killing off inflation, partly because of competition from EVs. Energy stocks are tracking the downside tick for tick, pulling down all other commodities with them, uh, such as platinum, palladium, and copper. There is a buy setting up here in the energy complex when the global economy reaccelerates next year in a lower interest rate world. You want to be buying XOM, uh, ExxonMobil, and Occidental Petroleum on dips. China's oil imports have fallen for six consecutive months. Biden's back in the oil business again, providing a bid for the uh, Strategic Petroleum Reserve at $79 a barrel. They'll probably keep at that level, buying uh, small amounts of oil every day until the SPR is topped up again. And by the way, warm weather is capping rallies in natural gas. Avoid UNG for now until we find a new bottom. So here's oil. Uh, looks like we're targeting $68 a barrel again. Then what happens? Economic recovery, low inflation. We go rocketing back up again. That's why I'm starting to like oil companies down here after avoiding them for the last six months. Uh, and this is not a uh, one-time only trend. After this spike, over the next 10 to 20 years, <clears throat> I expect the price of oil to drop to $10 a barrel as the uh, U.S. energy supply completely electrifies. Uh, we're slowly phasing out uh, carbon sources uh, across the country, but that is a 10, 20, or 30-year progress. And during that time, you can get several doubles or triples in the price of oil. So there, it will be a trading vehicle, but the long-term trend is down. This is one of the greatest double tops of all time. We topped up here at 150 in 2008, topped again at 130 uh, right after the beginning of the Ukraine war, and we're now long-term headed down. Precious metals, we have a new bull market here. A massive silver shortage is developing with demand up 16% in 2023 to 1.2 million ounces. With EV production from 1.5 million units a year to 20 million units a year within the decade, its share of the market will rise from 5% to 75%. Solar demand, panel demand is also rising. You want to buy uh, SLV and wheat and precious metals on dips. And my next leaps will be for silver on the next dip. Gold will be a good performer in 2024, up 20%. Collapsing interest rates next year are also the story here. That means you get less competition from interest rates uh, for precious metals. Uh, here is the gold chart. You can see we're getting a massive breakout to the upside, looking for 20% in 2024 to $2,300 an ounce. Uh, and if you like gold, you have to like the world's biggest gold supplier. Uh, it had a massive move yesterday uh, by Barrick Gold on dips. We're targeting $50 uh, a share in 2024, up 187% from here, because you always get four times the move in the gold miners that you get in underlying gold. Uh, and the same is true for silver. We're targeting $50 here, and that is 118% gain from the current level. Uh, you can see the new bull market, all the precious metals has begun. So don't play with matches. You could probably do okay just buying all the stocks I mentioned above and forgetting about them. However, the reality is the conditions for these companies change every day. They are all viciously competing, trying to put each other out of business, if you don't get daily updates on the fundamentals, you could easily get wiped out. Today's big winner could instantly become tomorrow's loser. That's why you need someone like me to guide you through the thicket to avoid an out-of-the-blue blow-up. Uh, I gained financial independence for life, and so can you. All of this can be yours. Discover how to make thousands of dollars a year in extra income, Go from complete beginner to seasoned pro in weeks. Learn how to quit your day job and trade for a living full time. Trade from anywhere, anytime. 
And that's me sending out a trade alert to my followers from the coast of Morocco. And I'm trying to, uh, trying as hard as I can to smile uh, because it is 120 degrees in that picture. Supplement your retirement income with the satisfaction of booking winning trades by the hundreds. The harsh truth is you really need my help. The majority of individual traders lose money. They lack the correct training and discipline to succeed. Most broker research suffers from grievous conflicts of in interest. Wall Street is all about moving money from the uneducated to the educated. The easy solution to that problem is to get educated yourself. Fidelity did a 20-year study and learned that their top performing investors were dead people. Why do dead people do so well? They never sell. You need a real pro to guide you through the market maze. The market is not monolithic and 95% of it can be completely ignored. There are a few great sectors and a lot of awful ones. You can get a 10x return on the great ones, but get wiped out by the losers. Let a 50-year veteran steer you to safe waters. Let me sit next to you and guide your hand on every winning trade. This is our secret weapon, our Mad Hedge Profit Predictor. That's a market timing index, an artificial intelligence-driven algorithm that analyzes 30 different economic, technical, and momentum-driven indicators all day long. It took a team of mathematicians 1,000 hours to create this algorithm. Why do you need an algorithm? Well, why use a toolbox missing its most important tool? Algorithms become so dominant in the market you should never trade without one. It does the work of a seasoned 100-man research department in seconds. It runs real-time and optimizes returns with the addition of every new data point far faster than any human can. Imagine a trading strategy that upgrades itself a 1,000 times a day. Don't go to a gunfight with a knife. If you're trading against algos alone, you will lose. Algorithms provide you with a... Uh, define systematic trading discipline that will enhance your trading profits. I'm not the only one using algorithms. Some 80 to 90% of all current trading is algorithm driven. I was walking along the Miami waterfront a few years ago and saw this super yacht and look at the name, algorithm. Uh, and this is three years of profit predictor performance. Uh, we get lots of buys at market lows, lots of sells, at market tops, buy, sell, buy, sell. It's like owning a printing press for $100 bills. Uh, this is our average performance for the last 15 years. We've averaged 48.57% uh, per year. That is 2.5 times the S&P 500. And notice that we either go up or sideways, up or sideways, up or sideways uh, compared to the a Dow average, which during uh, the lifetime of our services had pullbacks as big as 52%. We got that here, we got that here, and so on. Uh, Richard made millions religiously following my trade alerts. He now spends his retirement restoring vintage aircraft and flying them over the California coast. Greg turned $100,000 into $1.5 million solely on my trade alerts. He bought a new home in Orange County, California with a Tesla solar panels, Tesla power walls, and a Tesla Model 3. Still had enough money left over to send three kids to college. Uh, let's hear from my friend, Greg. Hi, this is Bob. I live near Denver, Colorado, and I can talk of the continental divide. Nine months ago, I joined John's Global Dispatch Service and was so impressed with the profits I made. But two weeks ago, while hiking in the Dolomites, I joined his concierge service. And in two weeks, it is 100% paid for it. And uh, I couldn't be happier. Life is good. John really helps. The other day, I had a text message exchange with him regarding some concerns I had with TLT. Uh, put spreads. He encouraged me to stay in. I did, and today they went out at 95% of maximum po potential profits. And that's the way it works for me. I hope you all do well trading yourselves. Thank you. So what do we do about all this? Well, stocks, you want to buy the next dip. Bonds, you want to buy the next dip. 
uh, commodities buy dips, energy buy dips, currencies buy foreign currency dips, sell the dollar, precious metals buy dip. And if you want to get updated every day of the year on how you should be positioned in each of these asset class, just sign up for my service. If you were not up 81% in the past 12 months as I was, you are reading the wrong newsletter or following the wrong trade mentoring service. 81% trailing one year return uh, versus 18.91% for the S&P 500. And that's 48.57 average annualized return for 15 years. And you can see right here, we are at all time highs. Nice place to be. You get those kind of numbers, you get to do things that other people don't do, like take the Queen Mary from New York to England. When you get to England, you can take the Orient Express to Venice. And once in Venice, uh, you can go island hopping in your own private helicopter. Here's the very long view and where the big money will be made. The 2000s and the 2010s were the hard decades for making money. The 2020s and the 2030s will be the easy ones as a global demographic wave brings on a new golden age. 85 million millennials will become big spenders over the next 15 years, while 80 million baby boomers, a drag on the economy, fade from the scene. They'll create an economic boom that'll last another decade starting this year. And that's me at my home in Zermatt, Switzerland, watching uh, climbers come down from the Matterhorn. Uh, this is what the Dow average did from 1982 to 2000, up 20 times in 18 years. Are you ready for a replay? That is what happens the last time we had a demographic tailwind ident identical to the one that we're seeing now. Uh, and if you think I'm crazy, uh, we've already done a large part of this. Um, since 2009, we've gone from 6,000 to 35,000. We only have one more triple to go to get to 120,000. Um, we'll certainly do that by 202030. If I'm wrong, we'll do double that. And in fact, you can see we're already most of the way there. Uh, one more triple gets us to 120,000 by 2030. Except this time it's different. We have the artificial intelligence technology turbocharger. Technology is hyper accelerating on all fronts simultaneously, and the pandemic greatly sped up the rate of change. The development of functional quantum computers means that computational ability is about to increase a trillion fold at no cost. The world's major computational challenges will shortly be solved, such as weather forecasting and cancer cures. All major human diseases will be cured within 10 years. Live in a decade and you'll have a shot at living to 150 years old. Needless to say, barbell stocks dominate in this scenario and will account for the bulk of stock market gains in our lifetimes. The 90s had cheaper computers, cheap operating software, and a new internet. The 2020s will have 10 times this number of new technology drivers. And on the right, you can see a picture of a quantum computer. We now have five of these in the Bay Area. Uh, it looks like a giant freezer because it has to operate at 274 degrees below zero. So who'll show you how to play the next 90,000 Dow points? Sit with me, John Thomas, the mad hedge fund trader and my global trading dispatch. Discover how you can tap into the top performing trade mentoring service in the industry, up 81% in a year. Follow my research and market beating trade alerts and you will rake the profits in. Let a marine combat pilot steer you to big profits. We uh, trade single stocks, options, and ETFs for global equities, bonds, foreign exchange, energy, commodities, precious metals, and real estate. And that is a 1932 de Havilland Tiger Moth, which I fly out of Cambridge, England. Notice the design flaws, gas tank right over your head, and a high propensity for this plane to flip over on its nose and no, no uh, brakes. We have a tail skid, which means we can only land on grass fields. Uh, this is a typical trading month for us. Uh, 10 out of 11 trade alerts made money. We made 16% buying the S&P 500, 8% shorting treasuries, 
bought the Russell 2000, bought Amazon, bought Apple. Oops, bought Biogen and stopped out for a 21% loss. We stop out of losers very quickly. Uh, it's easier to dig yourself out of a small hole than a big hole. And then we went on to a string of winners across all asset classes. It's just a matter of time before barbell stocks break out to new all-time highs. Watch this space melt up going into 2024. Get ready to start reeling in those whoppers with Global Trading Dispatch as your guide. And yes, that is a 24-inch uh, rainbow trout, which I caught in northern Nevada. Here's how our service works. Our algorithm predicted an upside breakout in Tesla in June of 2020. So we sent out a trade alert. And it looked like this. Buy Tesla at $67 or best. It's an opening trade. And uh, to get a $10,000 exposure, you needed to buy 149 shares. What happened? Well, we went up 63% in 20 trading days, all the way up to 109. Uh, did we just sit around and pat ourselves on the back? No, we sent out a, a trade alert to sell, to take profits. And that's what this looks like. Uh, sell Tesla at 109 or best. And on this trade, uh, $10,000 investment produced a profit of $6,258 uh, in only two months. Um, did we ab abandon Tesla after that? No, we kept buying every dip. We, in fact, trace this all the way up to $1,200 a share before the stock split twice. So this is a history of our 10 baggers. Uh, we bought Zoom, uh, which went up 10 times after we bought it. We bought Lamb Research, which went up 10.6 times. We bought NVIDIA up 16 times. Uh, we bought Square up 25 times. And we bought Moderna before the pandemic up 40 times. And of course, the granddaddy of them all, Tesla, we bought at $2.35, split adjusted. It went up 400 times. With my Mad Hedge Global Trading Dispatch service, you get instant trade alerts, sound out market sweet spots, about 200 a year, uh, live bi weekly strategy webinars. Uh, with an interactive Q&A, special reports on urgent investment topics, invitations to strategy luncheons around the world. Uh, I had 25 strategy luncheons this year, quite a few, and more educational videos and webinars than you could consume in a lifetime. I'll even give you the name of a surfing camp in North Africa. Uh, with the seniors division, warning, it's a lot harder than it looks. This is the one-stop shop. Learn all you need for every level. It's for individuals who understand what is happening with the retirement funds. It's for people who want to learn how to trade for a living. Get the financial education of a lifetime. It's for smaller institutions and financial advisors who can't afford an in-house research department. Get in before the next melt-up begins. Uh, with our service, you get our daily global market comments. This is in your inbox every morning uh, and give you a, a great uh, piece of information about the market. Uh, you also get our hot tips every day, the five most important things that happened today and what to do about them. Uh, this is what I'm not going to charge you for this service. I'm not going to charge you $100,000. That's what I charge my big hedge fund clients, and they're happy to pay because I make them millions of dollars. And I'm not going to charge $12,000. That's what I charge my concierge clients who get my personal cell phone number so I can act as their investment 911. And I'm not going to charge $3,500. That's the full price of what I'm offering you on my web website. Uh, creating this product costs me millions of dollars with the best customer service in the industry running it cost me millions more. Here's the offer you can't refuse. Six months for just $997. That is a 71.5% discount to our website price. It is a limited time offer. We only take 25 new subscribers at a time. So it's first come first serve. I can't wait to make you a top drawer trader. Uh, just click on the chat box on the right 
And David, if you can go ahead and put the link in there now, I'd appreciate it. Um, let's see. Um, okay, I'll get to all the questions. Yeah, the link is in there now. Um, <clears throat> that may make the money for you to pay for your subscription. You make the trades. Discover how an experienced hedge fund manager finds and exploits the best sweet spots in any market. Just click on the chat box on the right. Here's the offer you can't refuse, six months for just $9.97. Buy now and you will instantly receive a trade alert with an extremely high probability of success that you can execute immediately and make some of the most serious money in your life. Don't leave good money on the table. 95% of these trade alerts make money. And uh, since the market is closed, you can enter this trade alert at the opening tomorrow morning. And just to give you a tease, this is the chart of the trade alert I'm about to send you. What I won't tell you is if this is a buy or a sell. To find out, you have to subscribe to my service. You have to go through a thousand charts to find one this good. Let me do the heavy lifting for you. So um, when you make millions of dollars for your clients, you get a lot of pretty interesting invitations. $5,000 cases of wine, lunches on super yachts, free tickets to the Olympics, and dates with movie stars. So it was in that spirit that I traveled to the famed World War II fighter station at Biggin Hill in England to meet Mad Hedge Fund concierge member Peter Monk. Peter was a poorly paid pilot for Ryanair when he first signed up for my global trading dispatch. After doubling his money in the first year, Peter upgraded to my concierge service. Then the money really started to pour in. Peter plowed his mad his trading profits into restoring a 1940 Battle of Britain veteran, a Supermarine Spitfire Mark IX, in his backyard, begging, borrowing, and trading for parts all over the world. He eventually built his fleet up to 16 flying aircraft, which are today worth over $65 million. When Peter invited me to fly one, I jumped at the chance. It was a mild and blustery day when we took off and headed for the English Channel. Even though the plane was 82 years old, we managed to breast 250 miles per hour over the countryside. The Spitfire could outmaneuver any plane the German Air Force threw up against it. This particular plane is credited with shooting down two Messerschmitt BF-109s, and it's easy to see how. We found a clear piece of sky over the white cliffs of Dover between two big fluffy cumulus clouds and commenced a full-on aerobatic flight test. Pilots always want to see what I can do in these old planes, and this time was no different. I executed multiple loops, barrel rolls, chandelles, lazy eights, Immelman turns, and wing overs, careful never to exceed the 1G limitation or the wings might fall off. Spitfires can dive like crazy. We dropped from 8,000 feet to 2,000 feet in seconds. Then it was back to Biggin Hill for a perfect three-point landing and a pint of beer. Let me make millions of dollars for you as well as I've done for thousands of other followers over the last 15 years. I look forward to working with all of you. Uh, okay, so we're just doing a roll here. Uh, no, that's a wing over. You can see the White Cliffs of Dover right there. Boy, it was an absolute blast flying this plane. It just flies like a dream. The stick is so sensitive, you can literally fly the plane with two fingers. So six months for just $997. Click on the link on the chat box on the right. Uh, that'll take you to a dedicated sales page, uh, which is only available today. And I'm going to check my store right now to see how we're doing. And I can see the orders are already coming in. Uh, we've had one from Russell in London, England. Obviously, Russell liked the Spitfires. Uh, thank you very much, Russell. Uh, look in your inbox uh, for the trade alert. If you can't find it, look in your junk folder. If you're a brand new subscriber, uh, then... Um, uh, that's where you may find it. We found, uh, here's an order from Vincent in Armagh, Ireland. Uh, okay. And Richard in Grand Haven, Michigan. 
Thank you very much, Richard. Promise to work hard for your money. Uh, we have an order from Norman in Odessa, Texas. Thank you very much, Norman. And I can see we're going to hit our 25 limit shortly. Uh, let's see. Let me look at see here. Here's some more. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. And um, let me check this this thing. Uh, okay, got that. Okay, and here's one, John in Calistoga, California. Um, okay, let's go to the questions. Um, do you trade uh, stocks or options? The answer is that every trailer we send out gives you three choices, a stock, an option, or an ETF. Uh, any of these can be executed at any time. Uh, over the long term, the people who bought the stock recommendations made the most money. Um, so uh, that is often the best choice for people to take. Uh, and let's see what else we have here in questions. Um, uh, do you think the stock rally will last until year end? I do. Uh, and in fact, it probably will spill in the next year. In fact, could run all the way out to March. This turnaround happened so fast that a large number of institutional investors uh, were caught out, couldn't get in fast enough, and now they're trying to play catch up. So we expect money managers to be chasing tech at least till the end of the year. Uh, here's another question. Is it too late to get into bonds or other fixed income securities like junk or Annaly Capital Management. No, it's not. Um, this is just, we're one month into a bull market for bonds that could go for five or 10 years. So no, you're not late at, in, in, at all. Uh, okay, here's another question. Will the Middle East or Ukraine cause volatility in 2024? Uh, it will, but the effect on the stock market is minimal. Uh, in fact, it's pretty much ignored overseas geopolitical events since time began, essentially. Uh, Ukraine does have the effect that it, it is pouring a lot of money into defense stocks. Uh, you said in the long run. Uh, what time is long run or long term? Answer more than a year. We have a lot of followers who've been with us for the full 15 years and the people who made the most money, bought the stocks we recommended 15 years ago, and they still have them. Some of them have gone up 10 times or even 100 times. Uh, let's see. Uh, what do you make of the volatility index going down to the 12 level? Uh, answer to that is um, it shows that complacency is rising, that confidence in a rising market is strong and will continue for the foreseeable future. Um, okay, what else is, do we have any other questions here? Uh, what is the role of the presidential election in your outlook? Absolutely zero. Uh, people are not interested in politics, they're interested in making money. Uh, it looks like we're gonna have a strong economy next year after a soft quarter or two. Interest rates will fall, interest rates, uh, inflation will fall. <clears throat> and that is a great backdrop for rising stock prices and rising bond prices. So that's why uh, it, you want, it, it's turning into a buy everything market. Uh, okay. Da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, um, again, just click on the chat box on the right. Uh, David, I think I'm about done for the day.